Okay, welcome everybody to my blog guest hangout. And we have um, several people on our panel here. Uh, Phil, why don't you start and introduce yourself? Okay, okay. Well, you can't see me can't talking, see me but, talking but, but I'm a, I'm chemistry, a teacher, chemistry teacher and I live in I Ireland. Live in Ireland. And I've been, and I've been with, with my blog guest for nearly a year now. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Sorry, I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I can't multitask. I'm typing in and listening and viewing. That's right. We yeah. have a lovely picture of you here. So that's great. At least we, <laughs> we can see you. Um, now, you yeah. handle um, quite a bit at my, my blog guest. You do um, your moderator. You're involved in the article gallery and the infographic gallery, is that correct? Not so much the infographics. I spend all my time, I spend six or seven hours a day in the main gallery. I have no time for anything else. Yeah, I just made up a new word, info gallery. That's probably not a new word, but just, you know, forget the graphic part. And we also have John, and John is going to represent our new user and come up with all kinds of great questions. And John, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. So my name my is John Rampton. John Rampton. I am the founder of qpc.org and blogging.org. So I'm a, I'm a fee guru. And you got a bad echo. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. <laughs> but you are very involved. I get a lot of like emails from you as far as whether this has been approved or here's some suggestions. Or you want to tell us a little bit about what um, my blog guest moderator does, especially in your, you are so busy and so involved on there. I think you deserve some. Applause and credit for what you do. Thank you. Somebody has to talk and fill the space. <laughs> uh, most of the time I spend going through the articles that have been hidden and which have been resubmitted because, say, somebody has put an, an image on without putting any links and an and accreditation link that, and it's been hidden, they would then put the Image link in. in. I would check I would it check and it. put it back live in the gallery again. Okay. But that, 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 that takes, takes quite a quite bit of time. time. You can't you just can't scan just it. Scan you so have you, to actually have to read, read it. it. That was my question: is if you read all the articles. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you must be like a speed reader. Well, well, I read all I read the ones all that have been hidden. hidden. The okay. others yeah, I, I speed, speed read. read. I scan. Scan. Okay. Is there certain checklists that you go through? Like, is there something that would? I know there's a checklist built in when you submit the um, the article. But is there something that you kind of use as a guideline? <laughs> all, all my all confidential, confidential secrets. secrets. <laughs> the way I work. <laughs> okay. okay. I read it. If the title is is wrong, it's bad English. That's a good indicator to me that an article is going to be so not quite up to par. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll read it, I'll read until, it I until I find the first, the first mistake, mistake. Uh, and then and I'll, I'll that sets, that me, sets up me up to be more alert, alert. And, and, and then looking and for then a second mistake, mistake, which uh, I, will I will overlook that, that. for the third, the third, third, third fourth, fourth and subsequent, subsequent mistakes are just mistakes more, just more um, uh, confidence that I can hide that article safely. That there is quite a lot wrong with it. So there's a certain point where if you've found so many errors, um, then it, it goes hidden and asks for the corrections and, and hope that they kind of get the gist of, of what they need to correct for the rest of the article, which is a well, good time saver for you. There's no point in you finding, you know, if there's five errors looking for 50 errors. Or if, there's, if there is one or two errors, I will... Point them, them out, but sometimes, sometimes what you get is an article that is gibberish, and and does not pay me to edit articles. And did you hear that? No. <laughs> if she did, <laughs> you'd have to pay me forty-eight hours a day because of the time it would take. I just wouldn't get through the number of articles that I need to. I guess I hadn't uh, thought of gibberish. There's so many quality articles on my blog guest that I hadn't thought of, but it makes sense. Yeah, they're, the one, read those out. they're the ones that got passed. 
<laughs> well, you know what? Then I, I just appreciate you all the more because now I see what I don't see. You d you don't see the uh, the authors that I'm dealing with every day. There there, there are there some are excellent some articles there. there. Uh, I have one of the things I do is to suggest articles to bloggers, and those are all written in near on perfect English, with lots to say in an interesting way, sometimes with pictures, sometimes just the English is just so good that I have to suggest it to somebody. Uh, some of them I'll bid on myself. And I built a website which is 95% my blog guest posts. Thanks. Wow, do you have that website? 21cwoman.com <laughs> Okay, that I remember that from the Twitter chat yesterday. <laughs> if you want to type in the chat window so that people have it, do you have the chat window there on on the left? The All I've got is there's a little chat button in the upper left hand corner there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And John, as a representing the new user. Now I'm curious yeah. what's your yeah. username on my blog guest. You wanna share that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll look you up. It's J S Rampton. I can handle that. I can remember that. Thanks, Phil. I'll look out for it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be totally scrutinized on your next. Eh, so, that's um, all, right. all right. I'm fine with it. I'm, <laughs> I I would say that I speak really good English. Oh good. Oh good. Um, so. <laughs> What questions would you have representing a new user? So, as a new user using my blog guest, um, first, why would I come use my blog guest? Like, explain it from a new user why I would want to come to new my blog guest. Are you a blog owner or a writer? I am. Which? Which? Uh, both. Okay, as a writer, it gets other people to read your articles. And builds, and builds your, your authority. authority. It, gets it gets other people to people visit your the website, the website that you are linking, linking to, to. Okay. which, uh, uh, if you take twenty one to see woman as a, as, a, as an example, example sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, that's gone that's up gone from, from zero, zero to a page rank two, two, and I think, and I think it's, it's less than one thirty k on Alexa in eighteen months. That's just, That's just on the basis, basis of, of my blog guest posts. posts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. I suppose that's as a publisher. As a writer, well, I haven't done much writing. I don't have much time for this uh, with everything else I'm doing. But the main thing is to get other people to follow the links in your articles to your to own, own um, site. So the, the natural linking and the and there's a lot of talking in the natural linking that it flows and it doesn't all of a sudden um, you know you're talking about apples and now you're talking about spaceships. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 there's, there's a rule, a that, rule that uh, keyword, keyword links, links have to be related, related to content, to content. which yeah, is sometimes um, ignored. And that's why that's why we have you, right? To go through and point that out yep. and <laughs> the general public of the world. Yep. Um, yep. But of course, in the bio, there's over. a little bit more um, freedom as far as um, your bio, because obviously, if you're writing about apples, you might not own an apple orchard, so then you can point it, to your. E even in the bio, a keyword link keyword has to be related. related. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That's good to know. I don't. I don't think I violated that one, Phil. You can tell me since you're the expert, but <laughs> that's good to know for. Our, our, uh, our writers to understand that. Because that seems to be a very popular question, the natural linking that pops up in like the Twitter chats, and I, I see Anne um, addressing that one quite frequently. I think, I think sometimes people have this, have this keyword, keyword link that, that they want to fit, want in, to fit in. in, and they mm. they force it into a sentence rather than structuring a sentence around that link. That link. Yeah, they might, yeah, they might want, want to link to with apples, apples fall down, down, so they fall the, just have a sense with apples fall apples down, fall stuck down, in the stuck middle, in middle of it, so it doesn't, it doesn't flow. flow. Right, right. So, in other words, there's nothing wrong with trying to work your keyword in, just make sure it flows naturally and not. Correct. It has to read, has to read as, good as good English. Yes. 
the latest, the latest Google, Google updates, updates have confirmed that. I actually made a prediction 18 months ago that links would be worthless in 2013. Uh, it looks so far as though I'm headed in the right direction. Wow. Hey, John, do you have any comments on, on your own question? Oh, I was, I was just going to see. Um, I mean, I've switched from doing keywords to straight URLs. Mm -hmm. And that's all I've been doing for the past six months. Has that been working well? Yeah, yeah. It's been ranking. And, and the last, like, Penguin update and Internet update haven't affected any of my sites. So I just wondered if a lot of people are um, going that direction. For example, I do uh, pay-per-click primarily, but a little bit of SEO for a large, you know, one of your bigger companies out there, and they were like, yeah, we're switching to this great URL. Most people are using a good mixture. You don't get so many people writing for SEO search, for example. You know, yeah, the, yeah, there would have been a time six months ago when SEO search would have been the third most popular link on the site, and it isn't anymore. People are using much wider range of keyword links and URLs, which is what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah. Make it natural. That's right. And varied. Yeah, correct. It's amazing how much uh, Google affects our life. On the, not that that's the only um, motivating factors for the linking, but um, that one company can have an opinion and how much it affects. It's how people, it's how see, people Google, see Google, I think. Google. think. They, 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 there is a, there is a, a big overemphasis over on the number of links that people are trying to, to, to force to into force their articles. The, 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 rather than go with the one, the one link that's that recommended, that's recommended most, people most people will try and force two, two in. Two in. One into the article and one into the bio. Whereas to have two links points to the same site is a bit with the same keyword phrase of the same URL link or whatever is pointless. Yeah, if it was if one was going to an internal page of a site, you could see some site sense to it. But if they're both linking to the home page, what's the point? Then you just look like you're trying to get, and naturally you're trying to get more link to when it is the same link. That makes sense. To, I think people may be trying to ensure against some time in the future when bio links are devalued, if in case bio links are devalued. When? I was going to say, is your, do we have a fill prediction coming here? No, no. <laughs> that's a John prediction. Okay, there we go. Well, that'll be in the next year. year. That'll be why we will try and force to read it. Shasad, I noticed that you joined us. Do you have any questions about my blog guest? We'd love to, to hear your questions. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, okay. Yeah, exactly. This is the same thing. Like you were uh, saying that the link from the bio thing. Will be uh, getting devalued if, if they are not actually uh, related to the article. This is the same thing. Like there can be many people from many races of life, and they can write the guest post. So what I think, what I believe, is that the bio link can be unrelated to the content. What do you say about it? Or the link in the bio can be unrelated to the content. Yeah, exactly, exactly, article. exactly. I only go with what I'm told to do. I'm just a soldier. <laughs> you're such a good soldier. <laughs> so, you, so what? Basically, what you're saying is that my blog guest doesn't allow that. Correct. Okay. I hadn't thought of because most of it when I write articles, I have different websites, different bios, but the bio that I use for the article. Somewhat relates to the content of the article, but that that might just be my writing style, and I, I want everything to be related. But I hadn't thought of so, Phil. You see some that are not related. I do. I do. I'm trying to I'm trying think to of it think without of it actually giving, giving the guy extra publicity. publicity. Uh, uh, say I was say writing I was about, about <sighs> AJ, AJ Morris, Morris computer bags, computer bags. And, and this guy, this guy will write about. about uh, absolutely, absolutely anything. anything. 
Uh, it could uh, be it cuckoos, could be cuckoos, it could be hoovers, it could be airplane, airplane flights, flights, and some way it will always get in about AJ Morris AJ computer bag. bag. I took my AJ my Morris AJ computer AJ bag Morris on my flight to Paris. Paris. Yeah, and that yeah, would. And that <laughs> it's, just it's just very forced. Very forced. It's mm -hmm. not natural, not natural at, all. at all. So, so those, are those are hidden. Yeah, it is a good point. There's so many things about my blog guest. Um, that I hadn't noticed because I took it for granted, but read a lot of the articles during the contest sweep and a lot of the bios. And you're right, the bios, you're doing an excellent job because those bios did relate back to the content of the article. And it, it gave it that um, cohesive element. So was, you're doing yeah. a good job, Bill. I noticed it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll put it for a raise. For a raise. <laughs> okay. Ann, did you hear that? So, so question for you, Phil. Um, coming in as a brand new user, um, what would be my advantage of going pro? You could then put articles into the gallery, which would then be, if they were good enough, they would be suggested to large numbers of blogs. For example, some days I will suggest 30 or 40 articles to 20 or 30 bloggers at a time. Okay. So you'd end up with a large number of better offers than you would otherwise. If you're trying to work outside the gallery, you can do it via a forum thread, which I have done. Uh, and I've got some writers who contribute regularly as a result of that. But in terms of quantity, the speed, speed and getting more, getting more articles, articles live, live faster, faster. The, pro the pro would seem to be the better way to go. I think that that's sense? probably the biggest thing that I noticed the difference between the free and the pro. There's the ease yeah. of use to be able to write articles and uh, when you're really busy it's just it's nice to be able to write it and put it in the article galley and let it flow its course rather than um, all the extra networking. I mean networking is excellent and you still get that using the pro but you have to do that extra work as far as trying to connect with people and suggest that maybe it doesn't work for that blog so now you've got to contact somebody else and the article gallery just makes it so much easier. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's multi-threaded. Multi you can do 20, 20 at a time, time instead of one at a time. Oh, as far as, okay. I was like, wait, multi-threaded? I'm <laughs> thinking through as far as because it is out there in the gallery and it's available to an audience rather than just the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. Good question. Um, uh, another question. What are some tips and tricks that you have for new users that are just joining my blog? Guest? Write for people. Have an angle. Rather than just a descriptive thing, try to think of a problem that your article is going to solve. So, for example, if you want to have an article about clocks, then start off uh, writing about kids getting up late for school or uh, that sort of thing. Have an angle and make it uh, suits aimed at people. That's the most important thing. Human interest rather than of interest to a dog or, or yeah. something else. Yeah. yeah, if you can come, up, you can with come up with a good title, title that'll really, that'll really help. help. Okay, what uh, are popular, popular titles, titles or recommendations for titles, titles that help them, 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 you know, gain that extra edge? It's not so, not much, so much popular, popular. It's, it's something, something that, grabs that grabs the attention. The attention. Okay. Something, something uh, for, uh, for, for example, example stop throwing stop the alarm the clock alarm at your clock kids. At your kids. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, that, that sort of something, something ideally, ideally like the best, like adverts, the best adverts, something that's something funny. That's funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was one on the um, the list yesterday in the Twitter chat, and it was about home security. And if you said, "Hey, I wrote an article on home security," I I probably am not running to read it because it, it yeah it's the Home Alone one yeah. yeah. But the Home Alone, just the use yeah. of Home Alone, I was like, "Wow, I gotta read this." It's interesting yeah. how the mind works. Yeah. Yeah. There are associations that we need to play up on on the title. Uh, very often, you'll get thoughts in your head about tunes. I mean, I go back to the 60s. You know, so I can think of a, a, a song phrase for almost every 
uh, situation, situation in life. In life. <laughs> and, and even people even your generation, your generation those, those, <laughs> those phrases those are phrases familiar, familiar enough, enough to strike a chord. And it's like a, a chord, attraction. Get it, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I got it. <laughs> that was a courtesy <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Hey, Phil, you should put your email up there, and I'll start emailing and asking what a good title, especially if you can pick songs from the 60s. That would be... Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> so, uh, ne next question for you. Tell me about the new infographic section. Uh, I think the idea is excellent, because if you get one, do get one of these on your site, and it is an excellent one, then... People will spend more time looking at your site, and if you're the person who did the infographic, then people will link back to you, follow your links back to find more on it. I have a little funny story about infographics. Um, so I did one about a month ago, and I pushed it out. Basically, I blogged it. I put it together. It was really cool. It was blogging stats. And it ended up being picked up by Mashable, which was really cool. But okay, it was just please. from like infographics that I put up. So it was really, I don't know, I think they're very powerful. Excellent. Well, yeah. Do you add it to the, the chat there, John, so we can see Sorry. the infographic. I will do. Now, here's a question that I've heard from other my blog guest people. But on the infographic, I think there's some confusion because you know how we think of um, an article only showing up one time on a blog? especially for SEO purposes. But on the infographic, there's the advantage that you can have um, kind of a mini article with the infographic, and as long as that's different, that infographic can show up on multiple sites. I think that's sometimes a point of confusion for my blog guest users. Possibly, Possibly. But, but it's still, it's still the, same the same thing, thing if you if come you away come from away the from popular, popular perception, perception of the reasons, the reasons for doing it. What you're still what guessing, you're still is, guessing links, is links is people following the links, links back, back to your site as, as a writer or as an infographic a constructor, uh, so which is the main the reason, reason for writing, writing there, there in the there first, in place. first place. There's three people then that really um, benefit as far as the infographic because there's the infographic designer who should get a link back to their site, and yeah. then there's yeah. whoever writes up the um, the article, the little mini article that goes with it, and then also the publisher. Now, on the on my blog guest, um, on the infographic, can anyone write up an article to go with that infographic, or does that need to be handled kind of offline? Or how, because I've noticed some infographics will have multiple um, writers. How does that work? You know, uh, I know that you uh, have to put a, a hundred and fifty or so word paragraph or so with each unique site that uses the infographic. The infographic itself goes to multiple sites, but with different um, write-ups, different blurbs. I find it helpful when um, the infographic designer actually puts a note that, um, you know, feel free to embed this or some kind of note so that there's availability, even if it, it doesn't go through the make offer. That are when they write up something, if you want to write your own, um, write up for the infographic, there's availability. So it gives a lot more flexibility as far as the networking. That's a great feature my blog guest has. Like I say, I, I've not really I've used the infographics, used infographics because there aren't many not related, many to, related to, to, my to my site. My site. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you know, women, women you know, which is a very which broad, is a broad issue. issue. <laughs> I don't know, uh, infographics and women. All of a sudden. <laughs> well, perhaps they're all done by men. <laughs> <laughs> John, any comments? <laughs> uh, yeah, they are pretty much all started by men. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only ones that really care about it right now. Although I have seen some really good infographics by a lot of mommy bloggers. There's quite a group of... I'm um, impressed. I mean, and they share them like bloggers? nothing else, and they get tons of links. I know I have a couple different friends who have created them, and they are, you know, what's quoted as a mommy blogger. They don't think of it that way. Um, but they, I mean, Pinterest just goes wild and drives, I mean, they say their average infographic gets 100 to 150,000 unique people to their blog. So wow. major traffic. So the mommy bloggers have really discovered something with the combination of infographics and Pinterest. Mm-hmm. I wish I could draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Wait, that means that I'm the only one on the panel here that can even try to become a mommy vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I, I recommend if you're having problems with uh, infographics, Picto Chart. Picto link. Yeah, I'll Picto. put a link up there. Thank you. How much you start? Thank you. It's ten dollars a month. Ah, uh, per month. And what does it do? Or or a hundred, it's like ninety bucks a year. That's what I do. Right. Um, I downloaded Dyer, Dyer, but I'm struggling with it. Yeah, PictoChart basically has um, like 250 different templates, and you go put the information on there. So it has really popular looking templates for infographics. You can go basically create them. That whole one that I created uh, took about two hours, and that was my That's first one I've ever created. That's not bad at all for a, a no. design work. It can no. take me that long to edit a video. Yeah, I might look into that. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like it. I can't say enough, and I'm not being paid by them or anything. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I great, love their product. Cool. It's awesome. awesome. But that's that's something that would be good for a lot of our um, my blog guest users. We can go create infographics and add it to that infographic gallery. That's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you, John. No problem. I think um Anne has some articles as well as some links and tools. Cool. Um, but I've I wouldn't call myself, I'm not an artist, I don't, I'm not um, Da Vinci, I'm not any of that, although I love art, but um, figuring out how when you sit down and you're going to go create an infographic, how do you get from point A to point B, so that website sounds like it's really helpful. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, what I found what difficult I found is actually visualizing, visualizing, it. visualizing it. You know, getting okay. the, where, am where am I going, where do I want, do I want this, to go? this to go? So if the so if um, templates are there, then that there, would that be would worth trying. trying. Definitely a starting point because it, it, it's not limiting you to stick with just the templates. If you kind of evolve past that point where you come up with your own design, it's not limiting you, but it's a great place to get your training wheels, it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. So, Phil, have you done any infographics? <laughs> I roughed a few out on a you piece of paper and then paper. screwed up and put them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a, wait a minute. I did one. I did one. Uh, you'll, uh, see you'll see it on. on writingpayingarticles.com uh, which a site I sold so have you, have you sold many sites? Uh, I sold another one for 850 it was only a year old Yeah, uh, that was nice uh, that was a gardening one that I decided I like gardening but I don't like writing about it Gardening should be relaxation to me. You know, I'll go out there and pull a few weeds, cut a few trees down, but uh, I don't want to be writing about it. Yeah. No. You know, casually he says cutting a few trees down. That's good. Like, I'm picturing these huge, huge, 200-year-old trees just falling. Just cutting a few trees down. That's good. Well, come, I've got a 200-year-old hedge at the side of the of the house that keeps me a firewood for the year. Oh, okay. And, uh, a couple of times a year I go out there with the chainsaw and lop branches off it. Hey John, have you had a chance to visit the forum in my blog guest on the, the social web, the social help needed? I have, yeah. yeah. Can you uh, tell us some tips for that? I can because I moderate that one. Let's hear I check it. that one almost daily. <laughs> um, I think it's a great place and I encourage everyone to, even though it um it definitely creates a lot more buzz. More people add articles, but it's an opportunity to share your article, and then um, other people go to the forum and actually um, then you know plus it, tweet, all sorts of things. And they all all of the articles in that forum go out on the my blog guest Twitter account. Okay. So automatically just adding it there, you've got at least one tweet, and then yeah. we have a lot of supportive um, users that really use that that forum. So um, I spend probably as far as the forums on my blog guest, I spend probably ninety five. To 99% of my time in that forum. Okay. Um, which is actually saying a lot considering I'm not necessarily what I would call a forum person. I spend time yeah. on you know, yeah. chat and Skype and all that, but I hardly ever remember to visit any forum except for my blog guest forum. So, mm -hmm. um, but Gerald mentioned, I can't speak for him, but he had mentioned last week about some social enhancements that were coming shortly to make that even easier, even quicker than um, the time that it takes to post in a forum and then respond. So, what well, what are what are tips and tricks for posting on the forum to get more attention? Wow, Phil, do you have an answer to that one? 
I've got an answer from the the writer's point of view, or the publisher's point of view, I'm not sure which. My own uh, thread, which is 21C Woman, like in the link there, uh, I every time I publish an article, I make a point of putting a link back to the writer, a link to the article, and then I get... More people, More people offering me articles as a result. As a result. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Keep, it keeps my it thread, thread high up in the high list, it keeps list. it fresh. And I think that's one reason why the Alexa rank has progressed as nicely as it, as it has. Yeah. Because yeah. The, there's people, the only people with Alexa are people like ourselves, not Joe Soap in the street. Uh, and it's only and people it's who have people Alexa have installed that counts for the Alexa ranks. Alexa ranks. Yeah. yeah. So, so the fact that, the, the, if I, the more people the I can get, I can to, get visit to visit my site, site not, only not only might they, might they pass it on to their friends, to their friends yeah. 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 They, they also contribute to the decrease in the Alexa rank. Improvement in the Alexa rank. That's the main advantage I can see. Uh, uh, of, of using the, using the forum. forum. You know, it certainly, certainly helps helps my helps site. My I do get a lot get of a lot links of from the forum. From the forum. Uh, sorry, uh, not a lot of links. A lot of visits from the forum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good point because right. I get a lot um, from the from my blog guest as far as a traffic source and a lot. The, the use of the signature is so helpful and I like how when you change the signature it changes it site wide. So if you oh, want yeah. to feature oh, yeah. um, an article in your signature, you don't have to worry about something that you were featuring two years ago or whatever because it's going to update site-wide. So that's I found that very convenient. Um, and in the social help, um, when I moderate that one, I have to double check that it's a guest post. So it's so helpful. And I thought of this well when you were talking about just the links as far as a link to the author and, and so forth. It's so helpful when people post in the social help that they include the author. I'm not going to go double check and make sure that you know you're you're honest to a T, but if you say, hey, this is a guest post from, you're giving them ex exposure, which is really helpful, and giving me the opportunity when I tweet of giving some credit to the author, which I love doing. And also, I don't have to go read through everything. So many people put guest posts, and I don't, some don't have bios. Have you noticed that, Phil? Some authors don't have a bio. Yeah, that, they get hidden as well. <laughs> and, and trying to figure out, is this a guest? And then you really feel like a, you know, a heel when you're messaging saying, is this really a guest post? And then it is, like, why are you asking the whole thing? So if there's no bio, posting, it hasn't gone through the gallery. Oh, good to know, because I was running into a couple of those, and I thought, why does it want, someone want credit for this? But um, that, and then if they put a um, free, like, handcrafted tweet, there's an opportunity to do that in the social um, help forum where you can actually enter what you want the tweet to be. Um, definitely... Make sure it's the same thing that you're posting and not some different tweet because that, that's just not nice. <laughs> but it's very helpful. Whatever information can be put in that in that post, but not lengthy. Not like I'm chatting right now or I'm babbling. They don't give me 800 words in your forum post because then I'm trying to hunt through and all of our time is valuable. So just as a tip, if you're posting there, keep it simple. Give us a tweet and at least mention it's a guest post. We don't come check up on you. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So, so any other any tips other that you've tips thought, of thought of in the meantime for newer users? Put me under I pressure here. <laughs> I, I put you under pressure as a new user. <laughs> I'm not used to being <laughs> under, pressure under pressure anymore. <laughs> I'm retired <laughs> 10 years. I'll take part of the blame because I, I told Tom to do that, so you fell. So <laughs> Thank you. That's you. after making it up at 2 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the, now the camera's not working. <laughs> Although it was good to have a test. Yeah, we tested. We do a lot of great testing um, technical things like that. But uh, just like life, you can always throw you a curveball and you just got to be ready for it. Yeah. So I'm, I used to be a teacher and be able to think on my feet, but now I'm struggling. <laughs> hey, you're doing fine. Thank you. It's all right. You can, you can blog about it today. Oh, I don't, I'm I don't struggling at this. Exactly. And, the, and you'll have a video you can embed. A video with me, there is a static person. Every time I'm talking, it's just you on there. <laughs> Defaults to your picture. <laughs> I was talking about writing content as far as... 
I mean, uh, for example, like, I, I'm a new user that's coming on. I've never used the system before. Um, I submit a post. What happens after that? Can you explain explain yes. the process for the new users? Okay. okay. The, the, site the site is not, is not that intuitive. That's intuitive. Lots of people Lots do of people find it awkward, awkward to use. To use. Um, um, I, did I did put one post one up myself post so I had some idea some how idea to how approach it from the writer's, writer's point, of point of view. But that's as far, as, far as, as I got. The, when you, when you assuming, assuming you are a, a paid user, user. Your, your site, your site, post your goes post live goes in the gallery. In the gallery. It goes to the it top. Underneath the pinned ones, which are the ones with the red flamey thing, those are particularly good posts. So your article then is then knocked down the list by ones which are submitted after that. Normally, the moderators will start on page one and will check out the post, make sure it's all right, make sure there's no issues, and if there are then they'll hide, they'll hide it. If it's hidden, if it's hidden you then you have to go into your, your hidden folder. Hidden folder. You, have you have to put the, put the, the issues, issues right, right. And, then and then press the resubmit, resubmit button. button. It then goes then into goes an in article, article under review, review folder, folder, which is where I spend most of my time. Uh, and, uh, and I then, I then make sure, make sure it's all the issues, issues, have issues have been addressed. addressed. If they have, they have then I'll then clear I'll it. Clear if 90% of them have, have, I'll have, clear, have clear it and I'll write a message, message to you. To you. you know, just have a look just at this, this or just, just unbold the bio, bio which, is which is a favorite one that favorite people, one do. people do. Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. whatever, just a small small issues that can be addressed, but which are not in themselves a reason, a reason to hide, to hide your, article. your article. If there are still, there major, are still issues, major issues, I will hide, it, will again hide it again and give you another yeah, opportunity yeah. to um, address, address what needs addressing. addressing. Then I have you to thank for um, getting to know Anne. Because I think my very first article, I can't even remember what I did wrong. <laughs> but I, and I don't know if it's you, but it got hidden and then I thought I fixed it and then it got hidden and it was like, Anne, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I want to be compliant, please help me. <laughs> What was it called? Um, it was a Facebook frenzy or something, five-year-old frenzy. It was a while ago. I don't, um, I don't remember, remember that one. I, I normally remember, I don't everything. remember everything. <laughs> you know, literally, I've got a photographic <laughs> memory that way. It was a while ago. so that's a, Like I said, I don't even remember the title, so that's pretty bad. I wrote it, and I don't remember the title. But, <laughs> so it was, um, Such I learned to be really love. careful. <laughs> And not to scare all you new users, it was not that difficult. I, I think I probably had HTML code and instead of pasting it on the HTML window. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, that's, the, that's, that's a what common what one. The main thing is nobody expects anyone to do it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you've been given suggestions as to how it can be improved, then it would be nice if people followed those suggestions. And learn so that the next time. <laughs> the, uh, well, yeah. yeah. Yesterday, Yesterday a, user a user submitted, submitted 100, 100 articles, articles on, on um, um, a, certain a certain very, very narrow, narrow topic. topic. 100 articles, all, wow. All, yeah, I had to read them all. They were all in the hidden the section. Hidden section. <laughs> uh, so. so I spent three I spent or four, three hours, hours, reading four hours reading these hundred articles. Oh my! Uh, I, I was stressed, stressed out by the whole by business. The whole business. Uh, uh, but they was, they was very, very often, very often the main, main problem comes when comes people, when people are, not are not writing in good English, English, where they insist, where they insist on, on, on paying, paying cheap writers, writers who don't have the don't English have writing English skills. skills to produce, to write, to write in, in anything approximating to, to US or UK US English. UK. And I've had some I have of those. to keep hiding them. And writing, you know, please have this edited by UK stroke US editor. 
or something or similar, similar, you know, needs to read as though written by a UK, UK US, US editor. editor. Yeah. yeah. I had no, someone contact me about, um, and I'm trying to be really careful, I don't give too many identifying um, details, but said, hey, I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm getting some really nasty comments on this article. And I looked at the article, and it was um, supposedly it came through my blog guest, but I'm wondering if it wasn't the article gallery. But there was a photo. Um, it was a doll, but it was it was a little graphic. And I pointed out, I said, as far as the, the culture that you're addressing here, that graphic may actually offend some people, and so they're not reading the article. I mean, if that's your intent, that's one thing. But you need, and he said, but I got this this graphic from the author, and he said, well, it's still your blog, you're publishing it. You still need to look at that and what your audience is, and understand um, culturally what your audience is looking for. Yeah, the, there, there are there one are or two, one writers, two writers, writers who will try to sneak in um, very uh, adult <laughs> topics, uh, which which are banned straight away, straight away. Um, because, because the site, the site has, to has to be family friendly. friendly. There are people, are people using, it using it and tells me we're only 13 or 14. Wow, that's, that's starting you know, so, so, so everything, so has, everything to be, has to be able to be, able to be suitable, suitable for them? Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody wants adult content on their website, that, that's not the complaint. But when you're coming back saying, I don't know why, why everybody's sending me nasty emails, well, understand, understand your, your audience. If that wasn't what you wanted, then then you need to look at what you're presenting on your website. Yeah. Yeah. Any last um, tips or recommendations? Or this is time for shameless plug too. So go for it, both of you, Phil. How do you mean shameless plug? That's your opportunity to brag about something. If you're going to hire, hire a writer, hire somebody, hire somebody who can write in good write English, in good English. Please. please. Or at least I'll say fill some time. So. Yeah. <laughs> but then I could do the enjoyable stuff like reading through the good articles. Yeah. So instead of like, um, you know how the developers have those little buttons that says buy so and so a copy? We want to buy <laughs> fill some time by actually having um, an editor that speaks uh, like UK or US English. Yeah, I think, I think there needs to be a button implemented by the moderator of a drink. Or something. Like that. <laughs> I think that'd be good. I think that'd be. Might not be right? coffee though. Bribery and <laughs> corruption. <laughs> here's my PayPal. <laughs> exactly. So John, here's here's time for tips or shameless plug. Um, tips. Start using my blog guest. Have good content. And buy filled drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Well, thank you, Phil. Thank you, John, for joining us. And shortly, sometime today, we will have a YouTube and make that available so that you can also blog about it. And we can. I hope you can edit wonderful... it first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I will. I will find a U.S. editor and we'll, <laughs> we'll cover that. Thank you so much. Love it. Thanks, you okay, guys. Deborah. Nice talking. Bye. 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 Bye.